Okay, check it out. This is my storage unit, number 57. We were supposed to be in number six. Come look. Number six would have been about here. We would have lost everything. All of our earthly possessions, all of my hard drives, all of my computers, everything I've ever worked on would have been lost. The reason that we did not end up in number six is because last minute, Kylie had the wherewithal to ask our landlords if it was easy to get a trailer to number six and he said, not really, so he put us in 57. And as a result, by dumb luck, our stuff is still around. Crazy times. Okay, okay. Well, sauna trailer is coming to the end. It's about time to wrap this baby up. And I have to say, it's kind of been a difficult journey the last few months because of fires in the Pacific Northwest. So I have literally not touched my sauna trailer in over two months because we've had severe fire restrictions. Uh, actually, Kylie and I ended up moving back to our hometown in Southern Oregon due to some COVID related stuff. And then when we got here, the entire town burned down. Today is October 30th, it's almost Halloween, which means that, what does it mean? It means that it's almost Halloween. No, it means that I've been at this sauna project for over a year. I started kind of, you know, putting things together in August of 19. It's October 2020, so over a year. And I think it's time to wrap everything up. The sauna trailer's done, it works, it's beautiful. The only thing left to do is test it to make sure that it functions as intended. Which is to say, we need to tow it someplace very remote, deep in nature, and we have to have a blowout sauna bash. And that's what we have planned for this weekend. So I'm actually heading over to Willie's shop to pick up the sauna trailer. It's currently sitting there. So I'm gonna hitch up and head for the hills.
go. Okay. Hell yeah. <sighs> Kinda sounds like we're in a submarine. <laughs> There's a, there, there's a reason all my documentaries are nitty and <laughs> gritty because every time that you try and be super perfect Murphy's law just shuts you down uh. You want a piece of wood under your head? Oh, looks nice though. Yeah, we I could I could go and lower it real quick. No. People are going to be like, this is the most uncomfortable sauna experience we've ever seen on camera. Why? I don't know. Because it's pitched that way. I'm blinding you with the light. I can't, I can't really tell that it's pitched. Just, just give me your most blissed out face for the... <laughs> it's just not the same when it's just spotlight lit, huh? Okay, temperature check. Still around 200, maybe 193, Holy. 196, I don't know, something like that. Are you ready for a cold plunge? Yeah. Let's do it. Go. Oh, take it with you, dude. Get the, the hat wet. No, I don't want to get my hat wet. It's going to get wet. Kylie doesn't think it's going to get wet, but it's going to get wet. <laughs> she just doesn't know yet. All right. Ladies first. On a scale of 1 to 10, how cold is that? <laughs> <laughs> Too cold to count? Henry, <laughs> you did not make it look easy. Oh God. Oh. It's like an iceberg. And it's colder than ice. Are you kidding me? This is crazy. <gasps> It's so cold that right? if you didn't have a sauna, you would literally die. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it feels kind of good now, though. Yeah. Like, as soon as you get out of the water. Oh, it has bone chilling. Yeah. Now it just feels euphoric. Oh. Oh. <sighs> mm. 
to go for three long hours today. We got to get all the footage because you know it's one thing to take a sauna, <laughs> but it's another thing to have a light blasting in your face. <laughs> it's like how relaxed and authentic could you really be? <laughs> Holy moly! It feels good though, now, huh? I have to get back in there. You? Yeah. And she's gone for round two. I mean, just like a little bit. I know all the way that. I just feel. I would be willing to bet that that is one degree above freezing. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> Did I do good? By filling this time. <laughs> We're <laughs> filling this tub. Yeah. You know when we did the um, just the road shower, it was all right, but it was nice. The cold plunge. That's intense. Intense that good or intense bad? <laughs> it brings it to a whole other level. It's seven a.m. Look how pretty it is. <laughs> the sauna is fully cooled off. Water's iced over. <laughs> Look at this over here. This would be funny. Nice shorts. Now it's about 8 in the morning. And Kylie and I are going to go climb up a big tall mountain today because the only thing that would make a sauna feel even better is if you physically exert yourself right before you get into one. So that's our plan today. And the mountain that we're gonna climb is that one right there. So in a couple of hours, I'll say hello from the top. Ain't it like a river to keep flowing? Ain't it like the meek to find the strength to keep on going? When it seems that justice just don't bend Ain't it like a winding river, my old friend? Ain't it like a mountain to stand tall? Ain't it like the downtrodden to rise after they fall When the climb up top don't seem to end Ain't it like the highest mountain, my old friend Ain't the roads to freedom rougher than they seem You know, as cinematic as it would be to have the horse trailer right here, I think you might risk getting it stuck and you'd have to go so far out to dunk in the water. I think we should just stay put with the horse trough and the sauna up there. You might be on to something, Tinder. It's pretty darn shallow, isn't it? on blowing Ain't it like the voiceless to find the words to make it known When you think the message can't transcend Ain't it like the howling wind my old friend Ain't it just like an ocean Ain't it like a mountain 
like a river, my old friend. all the way down because yeah, it way down. will just and you can see how much it'll yeah that is off take out all the you turn it back up it'll start getting hotter and flame maybe even a little bit and then back down takes off all the air yeah and then basically we move those so that they're away from the fire we wrap up all the towels just leave them at the end, right? Yeah. Move the glove, anything that would burn. We don't want it to burn. Cats can go back in the bathroom, right? Knock over the water bottle. I'm gonna dry off in here, though. Yeah, okay. That can be a thing. Because it's nice to dry off when it's warm. Oh! How good does that feel? Amazing. We're in the middle of the woods. The ground is literally frozen. It's like 23 degrees. And we're standing in a cedar room that's 185 degrees. We should be fearing for our existence, but instead we're euphoric. It feels so damn good. Wow. Oh.